Hello, I am the Ballmeister. Welcome back to Blind Start. Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. Today, we are diving into a game called King's Quest. This is a re... <coughs> Imagining? A new entry? A revival into the series, let's put it that way. The game series is like 30 years old. Uh, so the game uses the Odyssey feature. Do not turn off the system when you see the crown icon. Chapters unlocked. Night to remember. Rebel without a cause. Once upon a climb. No place like home. And the good night. Can't. Settings. Audio video. We are going to turn subtitles on because I love to have subtitles. It's easier that way. Square to interact, square to inventory, circle to exit. Pause its options, move and look around is your left stick. Gameplay. Nothing I need to add there. Okay. Alright, let's dive right on in. Look in chapter one. We have nothing in inventory. Okay. So we can just walk forward here. Camera. Can't camera. There we go. We're gonna observe. Okay, we're gonna turn the crank. Anything exciting? Drop them in the bucket. All right, I guess we're going down. Okay. I have not been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. What are we looking for anyway? That's my question. We're going to examine. Wonderful. Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. Okay, so we are in a wishing well. Those lost Oops. wishes weren't the treasure I was after. Okay. So I guess we'll go this way. Through the little door. Uh oh. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. The scenery looks very pretty around here. Okay, cool. Well, auto, auto jump. Again, we don't have a whole lot of <coughs> buttons, but it doesn't give me a didn't give me a prompt to jump, so that's very helpful. Okay, so we'll just run around. Two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. By the way, does anyone recognize the voice? It sounds like Christopher Lloyd. From, you know, like Back to the Future. All right, let's turn this one. Can I turn this one? I can turn this one. Ow. And that's what would have happened if I turned the left switch. But since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. <laughs> okay, and that's that's what it's gotten me. What drew me to this game is the is the commentary based on your actions. If you do it the quote unquote wrong way, you can't see me do the air quotes, but. If you do it the quote-unquote wrong way, the game will tell you, yeah, that's not the way it's actually supposed to happen. Pockets, barrels, butter churns, and beds were jammed into every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seems so familiar. Yeah, that's definitely Christopher Lloyd, that delivery right there. 
that scares me a little bit. Is there a dragon in here? Or a giant? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, Grandpa. I don't remember this part of the story. Beds hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. No worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. You and me both. Thing wobbles like crazy. Nestled beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was a fabled mirror. Oh, so you remember this part of the story? Well, dragons are my favorite. You want to tell this part? Yes. King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking, Beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to... Add a shinier hat to my collection. Okay. So it sounds like... <clears throat> grandfather figure of sorts is telling his stories to his grandchild. So there's still nothing else up here to interact with yet, and we're getting actually we're getting no closer to the dragon. Strangely enough, but I wonder. <clears throat> I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. What did you use to fix the broken switch? I don't have anything left in me yet. That's what we need to find. There's a table leg. There's a bed. There's some more rooms and butter, butter churns. Volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to tame a dragon, breaking the spirit of hideous beasts. Amateur spells to impress your friends with. <laughs> no books about recovering missing handles, though. Okay, fine. Even though the bed was very comfortable, this was no time <laughs> to hide under the covers. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I want to grab the broom churning handle, but it's not letting me grab that. Oh, great. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? Well, I used my cleverness to outsmart the trap. No, I didn't. Then, I used my cleverness to hide. There we go. Do 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 do. Nobody here but us. Beds. Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. Which apparently I am not. I tried okay, to turn now. that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone okay, so I have to use it from my inventory, okay. Some silly conundrum. What did you use to fake? 
Oh, a handle, of course. That's a little loud. Don't wake the dragon. Don't wake the dragon. Don't wake the dragon. The dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. As I sneak, sneak, sneak into the cave. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. Is that a skeleton? On the bed. Okay, so I need to try to escape that way. Do I need? To, I think I need to get around the spike trap. So if I go this way, squeeze my half butt in here, and quickly run this way. This way. Perfect. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get into bed. Okay. So we know those snap crackle pop. So if we can just shit. I'm torched. Wait a minute. Does this mean our family's immortal? <laughs> okay. All right, so we gotta go through this first half again. We need to, need to hop in bed real quick. We're going to try going the other direction this time. Just to see. Just going to try something here. Through the tulips, that's where I'll be in tiptoe. Through the tulips, with me. Go. 
Go up the ladder, go up the ladder, go up the ladder, go up the ladder. Whoever designed this trap thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. Okay, so what do I got around here? Hit that, okay. So I need a rock. Or a bow and arrow. That works. There it goes, perfect. I no longer have the bow and arrow. That would be nice to have. I don't like this. Oh, I really don't like this. Really don't like this at all. No, I really don't like that. The mirror called out to me. Hopefully it's a checkpoint. Why would I wake the dragon? Just saying. Oh, it's moving to a different spot, okay. Okay. So, if I do this... A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast, and probably its owner, alive. There we go. Feeding time. So if I ring the bell... <coughs> to move the dragon... Now, I need to hurry. Why am I going that way? I need to go back. Oh, that's how I do it. So I need to... I'm stuck. Okay. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up before the dragon comes and eats me alive. Have the mirror shows me as the king, but now I gotta outrun the dragon. Nice, nice feeder heroism, dude. Wah go, 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 whoa, go, 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 go. Yeah. 
It's a cat running escape a go-go. That's gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Can you put my mouthwash <laughs> back on the shelf, please? Now, where was I? <laughs> well, at least we get to strip the cavern and escape. That's good. Oh, that was fantastic. Okay, I gotta remember I gotta stay up. Get that next one. I don't know how I'm supposed to be, how I'm going at the up rapids, but whatever. Paddle, 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 paddle. Man, I had like no time for that last one. Up and over, look at me go. Woo, almost made it. Into the drink, that is. Something's not quite right here. Yeah, that helps. Go, 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 go. Is there anything in my pathway? Okay. Agreed, dude. All right. Let's see if we can With get out of here. With a magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the Daventry I would be rewarded with, and the kingdom it could become. I still gotta get out of here first, though. That's the problem. Just because I have the magic mirror doesn't mean I'm safe yet. in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety and all would have rippling consequences. Wrong choice. Was that the right choice? go as we climb up and out of the well my hands were shaking and my arms could barely grip the rope but with the last of my strength I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle ever since the magic mirror returned its reflections have worn the kingdom of danger kept our family safe and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim. Sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right. Let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free even though he was trying to eat you? 
I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. I wonder... On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. If there's a branching That's dialogue, a if I did a different action... Friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home. But only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Okay. Many tales of our t of our heroic adventures. Gwendolyn, it's the middle of the night. Gwendolyn. I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa's stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. Grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Wow, that's a lot of tonics there, Grandpa. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues. Like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Gart you're worried about, he's no bother. After all... I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Precision through practice and a deft maneuver or two. Train harder and follow your instincts. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story, one I know you haven't heard before. I wonder if that's going to influence anything. I was a anything. young lad before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. 
It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. Help it wanted. is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. And that. Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. Whoops! <laughs> First off, what exactly is Triumph? And secondly, where did we go? I don't even land in the. Okay, well, once we stop rolling down the. the ah, oh, treat! Treat, treat, treat! Nope, treat! Bush, rock, ow. Tree, 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 bush, 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 tree, 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 cliff. Right in the middle. No, I hit a tree. <laughs> After gracefully repelling down the cliff, <laughs> I welcome the sight of an actual road. The first sign of civilization. Okay, and that's where we're going to end it there. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff. Thank you so much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed this content, you know the drill. And join me again in the new year for a new blind start. Until next time, I'm the Bowmeister. As always, I have been obediently yours.